Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for a prayerful pause in your day. A few moments to remember that there's something greater than we are. Um, I'm losing track of days. Are you? It was funny. I don't know how many of you watched um, Saturday Night Live at home last Saturday, but Tom Hanks was the host from his home. And he was, he cracked me up because he says, you know, every day's like Saturday. He says, this is the first I've had on a shirt and tie, you know, in six weeks or something. I can totally relate. But anyway, um, I'm recording this on Friday, April 17, 2020. And um, it completes five weeks of living in sequester, as I like to think of it, rather than a lockdown. How often is, how awful is that? But you know, we are taking care of each other and um, taking care of ourselves. So we stay home. Uh, if you haven't seen Carol King uh, and her rendition of So Far Away for COVID virus, uh, look for that online. Just Google it. I'm sure it will pop right up. It's it, it touched my heart. Of course, I'm of that generation. But I was thinking about, okay, what do I have to share with everybody today? And I was kind of looking around and asking God, what am I supposed to be talking about today? And I opened the daily word from unity, <clears throat> which some of you know is one of my go-to things most days. It's a nice, um, I don't know, happy, optimistic, spiritually based thought usually for the day. And today's word is guidance. So I'm just going to read to you what it has to say and then we can talk about it just a little bit. Uh, the mantra it asks us to repeat throughout the day is, I am open and receptive to divine guidance. I am open and receptive to divine guidance. Say that with me, would you? I am open and receptive to divine guidance. In other words, we're not just asking for it, but we really are open to it and we are ready to receive it. That's different. I mean, you know, if I used to play catch a lot with my brother Dave and I still have my, you know, catcher's mitt. Uh, it's not for a catcher's, but it's baseball glove. And, you know, you can stand there um, with the glove on your hand, but until it's open and you're ready to receive, you're not ready to receive. We need to be ready to receive divine guidance. So <clears throat> here's what it has to say to us today. Spoke to me. Maybe it will to you too. Listen for the word of God, as we say. I know that wherever I am, God is. Love is. Peace is. From that awareness, I know that I am loved because God is love. I mean, I could stop right there and that would be enough, wouldn't it? But I digress because it continues. If I should face a challenge along my journey... I know that as a spiritual being, I need only to turn within to listen, to be present, to be still. Could stop there for a message for the day, but I won't. In this blissful stillness, I draw from a reservoir of infinite wisdom, divinely guided, protected, and blessed. I know what is mine to do, and I do it with confidence and clarity. I remember the words of Jesus, I am the way and the truth and the life. The I am within me is the Christ essence that spoke through Jesus. Living from the Christ within is the way to lasting peace, happiness, and prosperity. I am so blessed, humbled, and grateful to live and love in this way. It gives us a quote from scripture, Proverbs 16, verse 9. The human mind plans the way, but the Lord directs the steps. The human mind plans the way, but the Lord directs the steps. I am open and receptive to divine guidance today and throughout the weekend I might add since today is a Friday and I won't be back with a prayerful pause until Monday but there are a lot of ways to worship online individual churches if you're looking for something uh, go to the YouTube South Church Rochester channel 
where you can also find these uh, older archived prayerful pauses. There will be two worship services up there by the end of today for the weekend. But the message, I think, I am open and receptive to divine guidance. We have to be there with the glove open, ready to catch it. We can't just stand there and let the ball hit us and bounce off, right? Okay, everybody. It's a thought for today. Stay open. And all those other things that I read. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's sunny right now in the Northeast. It's going to snow later. We're going to get an inch or something. Everything should be cleared by Sunday at least. So it's a good time to stay indoors. It's April. What do you want? It's springtime. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. If you'd like to learn more about us, our website is at the end, or as I mentioned earlier, go to YouTube to South Church Rochester. You'll find a lot of our inspirational words of wisdom, I hope, and worship services there. God bless. Have a great week. See you next time. Bye for now.